Make sure you tune in to 7 News straight after Greenfingers. Now, Daz, I see you've made a start on the fruit trees. Is there anything I can do to help? Look, mate, I'm pretty right here. I've got this group of awesome little helpers, so how about you go and start on the veggies, but you're not getting any of these little kids to help you. They're working with me. You kids don't want to help Nico, do you? Yeah! Perfect. Let's go, kids. Actually, do you know what, kids? Darren hurt himself in the hamster wheel today, so I need a couple of you to volunteer and go back and help him. Can I have three, please? Perfect, go back. The rest of us, let's go to the veggies, come on. The soil in the Kelmscott foothills is the exact opposite of what we see in much of Perth. No soft, gutless sand here. Instead, we have dense, sticky clay. By digging in the veggie mix and adding blood and bone, we will open up the soil and encourage lots of earthworms. The trees will thrive and reward us with bucket loads of fruit. To help the fruit trees settle in and to avoid transplant shock, I've got my little mate Caulfield putting some sea salt planting gel around the base of every tree. How's it going, Caulfield? While Daz and his new best mates are fluffing around with the fruit trees, Jace, myself and the kids are going to add some blood and bone and sand remedy to the veggie beds. One thing Daz has also taught me is to always give the blood and bone to the other guy. All yours, Jace. Once the sand remedy and blood and bone have been spread over the surface of the mix, we dig it in nice and deep. That way all the minerals, nutrients and other goodies are not just at the surface and this encourages a deep, life-sustaining root system on a plant that is tougher and more water-wise. The fruit trees are all planted, my little helpers have done a great job and now it's time for mulch and some slow-release fertiliser. Who's going to help? Me! You three are amazing, you're like an army on your own. A controlled release fertiliser ensures the nutrients are released to the plants in a measured and exact way, so no waste or nutrient leaching. And a 100ml layer of a premium chunky mulch, like this Garden Art Drought Breaker from Biowise, will help keep the soil cool and massively reduce evaporation, saving heaps of water. The beds are looking a treat and ready to plant up. Darren's up there with his army of three. Seeing as I have the bigger army, we're going to get this done quick smart. Anything Darren can do, we can do better. The kids and I are planting a great range of fresh veggies and herbs from Swan Valley Nursery. In the round beds, we're putting the tall growing tomatoes and eggplants, complemented with heaps of basil and parsley. While in the long beds, the lower growing types, such as squash and marjoram, are all the rage. With veggies and herbs all planted, it's time for the water saving mulch. Again, we're using pea straw from the Green Life Soil Company. It's ideal for veggie beds. Not only does it save water, but it also keeps the soil cool, allowing the soil microbes to do their job, making your plants growing better with less water. Does your school need a veggie garden? For a veggie patch built and installed by the Greenfingers team? That's us. Me? Us. In 25 words or less, can you tell us why your school would benefit from having an edible garden? For all the information, visit our website.